Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rashti Joshi and today I am up with a new video which is based on a Bob Dylan. He was an American songwriter and lyricist. He and in this video I am going to discuss his life and work and also his famous song Blowing in the Wind. So let's start. Here are some facts on Bob Dylan. He was born in 24 May 1941. and born in uh, minnesota usa the nob uh, he won nobel prize in literature in 2016 recently uh, his original name was robert zimmerman and uh, his uh, grandparents were jewish uh, they are uh, they were immigrant from present day ukraine uh he was already for uh, he was in school and he already formed a band and he became the part of that band he moved to new york city in 1961 since then he had mainly devoted his time to writing and performing lyrics and music so after schooling he moved to new york and uh, in new york he devoted he, uh, he spared his whole time in uh, music and uh, performing uh, music or performing the song bob dylan's lyrics and other writing sometimes reflects his own life relationship and religion belief or uh, we uh, see in his uh, some move, uh, songs that uh, his songs are reflecting his own relationship with uh, his uh, wife and his children and with others also and uh, some of his songs are also reflecting that his uh, religion believes in church or jesus or everything and uh, he has worked he has also worked as a visual artist uh, this is uh, also a very famous thing about him he wo- he has six children uh, from two marriages uh, he married two times and he had six children so uh, now i am going to talk about his work and so let's start about uh, his famous works so bob dylan's works Uh, uh or songs are rooted in the rich tradition of american folk music and are influenced by the poetics of modernism and the uh, beatnik uh, movement or uh, we can say the beatnik movement is very uh, important moment in a uh, movement in uh, modernism and his uh, uh, most of his songs are based on a folk music Uh, of america and after that uh, recently he uh, uh, replaced that uh, his folk music uh, into a pop music or of america or english pop music love and religion are other important theme in his songs or we can say uh, uh, most of his songs are based on love re- uh, religion uh, religion and war uh protest songs uh, the, uh these are some uh, important theme of his songs uh bob dylan has also written prose uh, including his memories uh, uh his uh, prose name is chronicles now uh, so uh, this video is going to be very long so uh, i decided that uh, his banquet speech or uh, uh, his uh, he, when he won the nobel prize uh, that time he gave a banquet speech uh, that speech is very long so i am going to link that uh, below into description box so you can go and check it out after uh, you watch this video so uh, now uh, i am trying i am going to explain about his famous song blowing in the wind uh so um, you can uh, first first thing first i'm uh, going to discuss about points to ponder uh, which i'm going to discuss in this video so let's start with the points to ponder so first thing first i'm going to uh, tell you that uh, points to ponder which i'm going to discuss in this video so let's start uh, first is a uh, background of this song and after that summary of this song 
and then a uh, character list uh, of this song themes of this songs and some quotation of this songs and uh, also i am going to discuss analysis analytical uh, references or analy analysis of this song and after that symbols allegory and motifs which is used in this song so and uh, in last i am going to uh, discuss uh, literary elements so let's start first with the background of this song the song was eventually included in dylan's second studio album title the uh, title of that album is uh, the free villain Bob Dylan as a single which was also released that same year he was also released as a single song uh, in the same year 1963 the song was inspired by the autobiography title bound for glory by woody guthrie and this uh, this song is also inspired by goody woodrin's autobiography uh, title of the autobiography is bound uh, bound of glory uh, this this is the title who was uh, woody guthrie was famous for his intense political statements that he often described uh, described as the wind blowing in the streets of new york and the newspapers from uh, newsstands blowing all over the place and we can say that uh, in the war time uh, some medias and some newspaper are also blowing all over the place and blowing in the wind or blowing in the street of the new york city and uh, she uh, sorry woody gudrin also uh, described that uh, things in his uh, uh, autobiography dylan was a clear fan of gudrin's work and when he begins making more political statement in his music it was clear uh, was works influenced him the most at the same time or uh, uh, when we study the song of bob dylan we uh, see that uh, contemporary situation is also like that some medias is also influenced by uh, rich uh, rich people or uh, powerful parties or powerful people and uh, they were influenced by them and uh, uh, medias uh, media should uh, reflect or should make some set statement which is based on a reality or post truth things but they are uh, they didn't do this kind of things and uh, uh, in that world war time dylan was clearly fan of gudrin's work and uh, uh, when he begins to uh, making more political statements in his songs uh, we all know that uh, uh, who influenced him uh, woody gudri uh, woody uh, gudri uh, clocking in at 2 minutes and 48 uh, second the song contains element of protest and roids as it tackles themes such as war peace and the civil right movements Uh, Dylan championed the effect uh, efforts of Black American uh, America in fighting for their freedoms and rights. Uh, in uh, in the song, we also see that Dylan campaigned for uh, Black American people and who served as a servant in uh, in the Americans' house and Black African people were also. part of that world war uh, and we know that governments are also uh, very powerful at that time and they doesn't care about this uh, um, we can say a very low people low class people or also very uh, we can see in the song racism is also there uh, he also mentioned that black american were fighting for their freedom and also for their rights uh, equal rights The Music Academy inducted the song in 1994 into its Hall of Fame. It is highly regarded as one of the greatest songs of all time. One of the uh, we can say Dylan's masterpiece in his whole life, and uh, we uh, we consider this song as the greatest song of that time. 
blowing in the wind is a, a very uh, we can say a protest song we all now we know that uh, it is a protest song and it is also deal with the ill effect of the civil rights movements and also uh, after world war situation and uh, or uh, viet uh, when uh, sorry uh, during the vietnam war what kind of situation were there this is also reflected uh, that kind of situations uh, which uh, people's going through that situation and also um, we know that the government's focus is on the war and ignores uh, ignores the violence and uh, human cruelty uh, which are uh, happened in world wars Uh, Africa uh, and uh, this all kind of things were happened with the African American uh, or uh, Red Indian people were also uh, uh, stayed or their part of that Vietnam War and World War First, but they are all are suffering from this kind of uh, things, uh, which is uh, uh, mentioned in the Let's song. Let's start with the first stanza of this song. Here you can uh, see the first stanza. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she uh, she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must the cannon balls fly before they were they are forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. So this is the first stanza. uh in this line the poet throws light on the belief system of uh, privileging of those times and uh, in this uh, lines uh, also poet want to throw some lights on the uh, system and government as i mentioned earlier also it was believed that a man or a boy sorry not a man it is a boy can become a man only after going to world war uh, which is also mentioned in the first line how many road must a man walk down before you call him a man before you call him a man it is also see uh, we can say that uh, it was believed that a boy can become a man after going into world war uh showing his disagreements with the belief ask how many roads um, or how many times a person would be required to fight wars so that he may be called as a man or uh, in this song he wants to say that we uh, or or we or he or we can say the bob dylan was disagree with that statement that uh, um boy don't don't want to go the uh, don't want to go in the war but he have to go in the war because he wants to called as a man and we all know that how many times a person would be required to fight uh, fight wars for uh, he wants to fight that war because so, or or we can say so he wants to uh, uh, he that he may be called as a man another interpretations of this stanza uh, can be as follows like the poet's wonders how much life experience a man or per, a person has to suffer in order to be called a man in the first stanza we can say um, uh, it, this is also uh, this all about is a uh, um, boy became a man after going into world war and if he wants to be called as a, as a man that's because uh, that's why he wants to uh, that's why he have to go into war to be called as a man uh, in or other words he wants to say that it is too much that society demands from a person or uh, it is too much to society uh, demands from the person that he have to fight a war because he uh, he should be uh become a man or he uh, he needs to be a man in the next line then poet raises another rhetorical question asking that uh, how many seas must a white dove sails uh how many times the war will be fought before achieving peace or also we know that white dove is also symbolized as a peace or uh, that uh, means that peace or uh, uh, bird of peace 
and sleeping in the sense refer to the fact that there is no war and in this lines you can also see that how many seas must a white dove sail and before she uh, she sleeps in the sand and in this song he reflect that uh, uh, there is a no war kind of situation and this this all are based on a peace and in this line the poet uses the phrase uh, sleep in the sand uh, as a reference to the passage in the bible that describes the in uh, sorry in incident of noah's sending the doves out of find lands after the flooding of the earth and this is also a phrase reference as the bible in the bible or uh, here we know that uh, bob dylan used religion in his uh, most of his uh, in his song so here we can find the uh, theme of religion and uh, the story of noah's or uh, when the earth or uh, flooding was going on uh, in earth uh, at that time uh, one person noah's he sends the doves out to find a land he was searching for a place to land and rest in the third line the poets ask how many times the weapons will be used before they might be totally banned or in order in other words the poet says that we have fought uh, in a force and they should be ended now or after vietnam war uh, there are uh, so many people who died in war and so many children were become the orphan and because of that kind of situation bob dylan uh, trying to say that uh, uh, there are so many weapons were used in the war and now uh, they should be banned and uh, totally banned uh, and also he wants to say that now war should be ended and the poet says that the answer to all the question he raised in the verses about lies in the wind or uh, as i mentioned earlier that uh, this line is mentioned in every stanzas or in the end of the every stanza that uh, the answer my friend is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind uh, Uh, as i mentioned earlier also that this is line uh, this line is also taken from the woody uh, gudrin's uh, uh, book and uh, he wants to say uh, the answer doesn't exist that is waiting for someone to grab but the problem is that nobody troubles to quest for the answer as i also uh, as i mentioned earlier also that the, that people who fought for themselves or fought for them rights uh, and achievements uh, they were uh, they were not able to uh, uh, agree with that uh, government also and but the problem is that nobody troubles to quest for uh, quest for those answer which are also blowing in the wind uh, now um, let's move on to uh, next stanza so second stanza here you can see the second stanza now i'm uh, i'm reciting the second stanza how many years can a mountain exist before it's washed to the sea this is the question uh, yes and how many times can some people exist before they were allowed to be free yes and now many times must a man turn his head pretending he just doesn't see the answer my friend is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind in the first couplet uh, the poet says that how many years can a mountain exist here mountain symbolize uh, as the pride and ego of those who desire war or like people uh, like a people of uh, like um, hitler uh, they trying to desire the war they wants to be a wo war kind of situation is then uh, hitler was the uh, person he had jewish people and because of that uh, personal desire that war happened between them and uh, because of that war some many peoples die in that war and after uh, that war uh, many bad thing were uh, happened in new york and germany and all kind of uh, cities were there 
and in this uh, uh, second stanza mountains or uh, in the first couplet uh, he mentioned that mountains are symbolized as the ego or uh, pride of that peoples or that persons who desire the war according to the poet the lust for the war of the strong uh, will not last for long or uh, according to poet uh, which is mentioned also in this uh, second uh, first uh, couplet that uh, according to poet that lust for war is a war of the strong or a strong as mountain uh, will not last long for uh, uh, this uh, this lust for war is not uh, last for long uh, it will sink into the sea some days or we can say a desire or a lust for war kind of situation it is not going to be stay stronger or it will be sink into the sea some days in the second couplet there is a direct reference to the discrimination against the african american or uh, as i mentioned that uh, discrimination means a uh, treating one person or group was than the other here we can say the racism thing kind uh, racism kind of thing and uh, in the second couplet uh, the direct reference to the discrimination against the african american uh, who uh, who are the black people uh, who were treated as the second class citizen in the spite of living in the free a uh, free country and the poets wonder that these people will be able to free uh, live freely and might not just exist on the earth he questioned also that uh, let me just read this yes and how many times can somebody people uh, some people exist before they were allowed to be free this is the question asked by bob dylan he wants to say that these people are just existing in the uh, on the earth they were not freely lived in this free country or we can say the uh, this uh, word free country is really free country this is the question and they all uh, he also asked that question to african american uh, he says that uh, these people were treated uh, treated uh, like a second class citizen they were treated also like uh, they were uh, not exist at all they were just living the life but they were not free at all in the third couplet the poet wonders how many times a good man will ignore the unjust and discriminator uh, discriminatory things that they sees around him or uh, it is also happened in contemporary situation or uh, that uh, some people or some good men will ignore the unjust and discriminatory things or uh, they don't want to be in that situation that's why they just ignore this kind of discriminator thing also which is uh, happened or which is uh, treated by bad people or bad men uh, but good men or good people were just ignoring them and they don't speak about them because uh, they were just uh, uh, they were just saying that uh, we don't want to this kind of uh, thing in our life and uh, this kind of things were uh, affecting our uh, lives and uh, regular situ uh, regular uh, day to day life that's why they just ignore and they uh, just uh, stay away from this kind of situation that uh, suffer some uh, people and also poets wonders that why good men uh, good people were uh, have to raise their against this kind of things or discriminatory things they see around them he is waiting for the day when the people will raise their voice against this of pretending that there is a no inequality or uh, in this uh, lines also he mentioned that yes and how many times must a man turn his head pretending he just doesn't see so uh, uh, in this line he also uh, wondered and uh, he also saying that uh, he is waiting when people voice uh, raises vo their voice about or uh, they raises their vo uh, voice against the discrimination 
instead of pretending that uh, this kind of inequality is not there in this uh, city or free country and they have to raise their voice against this uh, inequality or uh, uh, racist kind of thing and people have to raise their voice against this bad thing in the last couplet he repeated that the answer lays before us and waits for somebody to grab uh, same lines that the my friend answer is blowing in the wind blowing in the wind uh, he wants to uh, say that the, he wants to repeat the same thing that answer lays before us and waits to somebody waits uh, for somebody to grab it so now uh, after this second stanza now i'm going to explain third stanza as well so let's start so in third stanza third stanza starts with yes and how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky yes and how many ears must one man have before he can hear people's cry yes and how many death will it take till he knew he knows that too many people have died yes and how many death will it take till he knew the too many people have died same lines repeated after and that answer my friend is blowing in the wind the answer my friend is blowing in the wind in this first couplet the uh, sky represent freedom according to him the sky represent the uh, freedom and uh, it is a hidden before the words so he wonders how many uh, times one will have to face the war in order to gain freedom or a free freeness or a liberty and uh, here the poets refer to the uh, long quest of the people uh, for freedom and in this uh, uh, song uh, he uh, wants to tell uh, in this uh, third stanza he wants to uh, say that uh, like this line says that uh, how many times must a man look up uh, before he can see the sky so sky free, uh, sky represent the freedom and how many time uh, one man take for uh, look up for uh, this uh, freedom and liberty and uh, so poets refer that also and uh, he refers that long quest of the people for their freedom and in the second couplet he wonders how many or uh, sorry uh, he wonders how long the government will remain deaf as we know, all know that government will remain deaf because uh, they don't want to say something uh, louder or they don't want to come in front of people and they just stay from behind the stage and they wants to stay very good kind of people and the government will remain deaf to the sorrow of the commoners or uh, after the world war happened that common people were very suffering and uh, government will uh, government was very deaf about this people and they were just uh, kind of like uh, they were uh, never they were care very careless about this kind of things uh, and they j just uh, this common people were very suffering from this deafness of government when it will hear the people's plea against war and favor of peace so this song is also a favor of um, peace and uh, they wants that uh, this war kind of situation have to or would be stopped now uh, in the third couplet he wonders that the government will realize that too many people have died because of war and it should be stopped now okay so uh, let's uh, hope that uh, this war were uh, stopped now and government will realize their uh, also their mistakes and too many people have died because of that war and in that war though too many people were participated and so many people were died and so now this war uh, should be stopped and uh, for the people poets uh, wants peace
peace. Uh, in the ending couplet, he says that the answer lies before us and we should grab it. So, uh, as he mentioned earlier in every stanza, uh, every stanza that uh, this answer is uh, leading or uh, it is laying uh, uh, or uh, this answer is lie before and we have to uh, grab it and we have to use it so that's why he used this stanza and that's why he used this couplet like the answer my friend is below blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind so here uh, our uh, poetry ends so i think uh, this video is uh, very lengthy now so i think i need to make another video which is uh, going to be based on themes symbols motifs and some other literary devices and also quotation from this song so i will make the another video and i will going to link that in description box so um, if you want then you can check it out from this and uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video and uh, it will be helpful to you also so thank you so much and uh, uh, as uh, i forgot to mention that this uh, task is also given by mega mem and uh, this is uh, this is very uh, practical task to do because we have to give our exam and uh, in this uh, situation we didn't find uh, much information or much uh, videos based on bob dylan's and also bob dylan's song so here uh, me and some of my classmates were going to make some uh, videos based on his song. So I hope you like this. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe.